Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-FOM40-K Fiber Optic HDMI Extension Kit. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share any type of HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 kilometers away over a single fiber optic cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's perfect for all of your modern media equipment. The transmitter features local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content here at the primary site while you're simultaneously sharing it with your remote location. The remote receiver features audio extraction capabilities that will digitally separate the audio component from the media stream and allow you to pass that along through an analog connection to a soundbar or home stereo for that theater quality experience. The kit also includes a set of infrared blasters that will collect up the remote control signals from that secondary location and pass those back digitally over that same fiber optic cable to the primary site where they're rebroadcast so you can effectively remotely control the content you're watching. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use the product. I'll list the features and functions and do a quick demonstration to show you just how simple this product would be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. You'll find two SFPs for connecting the fiber optic cable. You'll find two infrared blasters, and these are slightly different. There's a receiver and a transmitter, and it's important you plug those into the correct modules. You'll also find two 5 volt, 2 amp DC power supplies. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet, and the other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a bag that contains a bracketing kit for each of the modules, so you can easily mount them up off the ground and out of the way, and two connection blocks for the RS-232 ports on the front of the units. This unit can be controlled over RS-232, and those make it easier to make those connections. Finally, you'll find a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of really important information about the solution that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and really helps to eliminate outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. Let's start with the transmitter module. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a reset button. That can be used to reset the module if needed later on by simply holding that in for a few seconds. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics and makes sure everything is working okay. And once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that is a transmission indicator. Once you make the connection between the two modules and the handshake takes place, you'll see that indicator come on, letting you know you've got a good connection between the transmitter and receiver modules. To the right of that is a left and right in. That's for audio injection. That's a three and a half millimeter stereo connection. To the right of that is an RS-232 port. This unit can transmit RS-232 signals. You can use it to control the device as well. To the right of that is a micro USB port labeled upgrade. That's used for upgrading the firmware on the transmitter if needed later on. You'll simply plug it into your computer, move the firmware file over to the module to complete the upgrade. On the rear of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. Simply plug that into a wall outlet. The barrel connection plugs in right there. To the right of that is an infrared out port, and that's used with the infrared blasters. You need to make sure you're plugging the transmitter module in here at the transmitter. To the right of that are two more HDMI connections labeled HDMI in and HDMI out. The HDMI in connection would actually connect to whatever media device you'd like to share with your remote location, standard HDMI connection. This product provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're transmitting to the remote location. And to use that feature, you'll plug another HDMI cable in here to a local display to enjoy that content. Finally, to the right of that is where the SFP plugs in, and that's the fiber optic connection that you'll actually connect up to your cable between the two locations. The receiver, again, is very similar. 
On either side, you have ventilation slots and mounting holes, so you can mount the module up off the ground and keep it at a comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, you've got a reset button to reset the module, power indicator, connection indicator, RS-232 connection again at the receiver end, and the upgrade port for upgrading the firmware. On the rear of this module, you'll find the SFP port on the left-hand side. You'll plug the second SFP in there and make your fiber optic connection to the transmitter. To the right of that is an infrared in port that's used with the other infrared blaster, and you want to make sure you'll plug the receiver in right here, 3.5 millimeter port. To the right of that is a left and right audio output port. This unit provides audio extraction capabilities, which will actually digitally separate the audio from the HDMI media being sent, and you can pass that along to a local sound bar or home stereo for better quality audio. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. This connects to whatever monitor at that secondary location you'd like to enjoy the content on. Standard HDMI connection, use a high-speed cable. And to the right of that is a DC power port on the receiver. You'll use the second power supply, plug it into a wall outlet, plug the barrel connection in there to provide all the power you'll need for operation. The O-Ray UHD-FOM40-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including security cameras, game consoles, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra high definition media content. It utilizes single mode SFP fiber optic cable for connection. It is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 40 kilometers of extension between the primary and secondary locations and features local loopback functionality as well as remote control of the content with the included IR blaster kit. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor, and that's the media content I'd like to share with my secondary location. Over here I've set up a second monitor. This represents my remote location. It's wherever I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary side. And these can be up to 40 kilometers apart. In front of me I have the transmitter here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module and I'll start by disconnecting the media source from the local monitor and connecting that HDMI cable into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it. And that plugs directly into the DC input port on the back of the transmitter. Now we can connect up the receiver module at the remote location. I have another HDMI cable connected to the monitor there and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the receiver and I can add power here. I've already plugged in the power supply. Again, barrel connector on the end of that cable plugs directly into the DC port. The only thing we're missing at this point is the fiber optic cable between these two locations. And again, this can be 40 kilometers apart. Now I've got a really short single cable right here that I'll plug into the receiver. I've already added the SFPs into the unit. And once I make the connection to the receiver, I'll plug the other end of that cable into the transmitter. Now normally these cables come with little connectors protection on the end of them. You want to make sure you disconnect those and pull those little covers off so that the fiber optic cable will work. You can't actually get it into the SFP if it's still on there. And there you go, there's the content. So what you're viewing here is content from the primary site sent over this single fiber optic cable to the remote location for display on that monitor. Now another nice feature this product provides is local loopback functionality, which allows you to still enjoy the content at the primary site while you're sharing it with the remote location. And that's really handy because a lot of these systems don't provide that functionality. Then you have to choose whether you're going to watch the content here or send it to the remote location. So to use the local loopback functionality, you'll need one more HDMI cable. I have one right here. And you'll connect that up to the monitor at that primary site. And then you'll also connect the other end of it to the HDMI output port on the transmitter. And the minute that happens, the transmitter actually recognizes the fact that there's a monitor there. It'll make adjustments if needed to still send the best quality image to that remote site. And then it'll actually bring up an image here of that content that's playing on the primary side. And there you go. So you're viewing the content here while you're simultaneously sharing it with the remote location, again, over a single fiber cable. And I think that's pretty amazing. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD-FOM40-K Fiber Optic HDMI Extension Kit helpful. 
it really does provide the perfect solution for sharing all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 kilometers away over a single fiber optic cable. And because it supports 4K ultra high definition media content, you know it's going to work fine with all of your modern media gear. It also supports both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 standards, which again means you can play a wider variety of files and never have to worry about copy protection technologies. The transmitter module features local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously sharing it with your remote location. The receiver features audio extraction capabilities, which will actually separate the audio component from the HDMI media stream and allow you to pass that along through the analog connection to a home stereo or a soundbar for better quality audio. And the inclusion of the infrared blasters provide complete remote control of the content from that secondary location. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.